Hey, what's up guys? Jim Ross, three mile storage management. Do another three minutes or three mile. Hey, we're rolling here. Got a, got a week's worth. I'm going to keep it going. Like I said, things just always come up <laughs> during the course of the day. I'm like, hey, that'd be a good topic to talk about. Um, yesterday had a conversation with an owner, potential owner that I'll be taking over for management. And, you know, part of the process is like, well, let me see your financials. Uh, let's see what you've, you know, done in the past. So we can kind of create a roadmap, you know, to get to where you want to go. But, you know, we need to know where you're starting from. And part of that discovery process is looking at your, uh, the P&L. And I was looking at it and just very generic. And what I mean is like the chart of accounts in particular. So I'm looking at the P&L, looking at the chart of accounts, and we're talking revenue. Marketing, utilities, services, and that was it. And kind of all those <laughs> those amounts are just grouped into those categories. And I'm like, well, can we try to break some of these things out? You know, for revenue, or, you know, not just rental income, but some rental truck income they had coming in. Uh, you got your your fees, for instance. Is there an admin fee? Is there a late fee? Is there an auction fee? You know, where do those come in? Break those out. Payroll costs, obviously, you know, your payroll or workers comp, your, your uh, payroll and burden, all that kind of stuff. Marketing, especially. I and mean, that's, that's always a big one for me. I'm like, we got to break those out. Don't just, hey, it's it's a marketing category. You know, it's you have, uh, your website services, you have your SEO, you have your pay-per-click, doing square foot. What are we doing here? Let's break those out. Utilities, obviously, you know, different kind of utilities. And then services, a bunch of different things you can do for services, whether it be, uh, you know, professional for, uh, I don't know, auctioneer services, or if you got uh, more legal, bookkeeping, that kind of stuff, you know, break those, those things out. Because you need that transparency to be able to know, A, to ask yourself the right questions, <laughs> you know, where am I spending my money? Where is it going? And then that way you can kind of shine a light on that to be like, okay, do we need this or could we negotiate this down what can we do here am i getting you know paying for my buck on these expenses but you don't know those questions to ask if you don't have the right information in front of you and so this isn't this isn't an accounting course <laughs> this is just more of a look at your PL, frankly and just be like okay can then can this be a little more detailed can i break out some of these head categories into some more subcategories to give my PL some more transparency. The more transparency you have, you're going to make better decisions. You'll have that roadmap of like, cool, what's working, what's not working. Uh, it just makes a lot of decisions that you have to ask yourself a lot easier. <laughs> if I know it sounds so basic, guys, of just, you know, we're running these million dollar properties, but more often than not, I kind of see these financials and like, it doesn't look like you're running a, a multi-million dollar business here. This is this is kind of like back of the napkin math of putting things down and you know crossing your fingers, hoping for the best. Treat it with the respect it deserves, and you know make sure you're going through those chart of accounts. Talk to your accountant, look at it, and just break those things down uh, further. Sometimes like, oh, I don't want to go back to years, and don't worry about that. Just start now. <laughs> And, and for your future financial reports, at least start now and get that going. You'll be grateful you did. Uh, uh, trust me. When I look at some of these sites that are, it's so funny. I can say if I look at their accounting, more often than not, it's a it's a very success, successful uh, business. If I look at their accounting and man, it's it's, it's very basic. Yeah, it's not the best ran uh, operation, and it could be a lot more profitable if you just have the right numbers in front of you. So anyway, I'll get out my soapbox. Hopefully you can <laughs> take that. Uh, look at your P&Ls and go from there. Uh, if you want me to help you, you know, look at your current financials, maybe help you with a chart of accounts. Cool. You know, go to three mile storage.com. Hey, book a time. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. I'm glad to help you. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys.